now. The Oakland mayor claims that they've agreed to a deal to keep the police and fire station open. It involves selling the city's half of the Coliseum to the African American Sports and Entertainment Group. Our Kelsey Thorid caught up with an A's fan and business owner about that move and what they hope it might mean. When it comes to sports in Oakland, the last couple of years have been rough for Brian Johansson, a diehard baseball fan and co-owner of baseball's last dive bar. That's why he was so excited to hear the city of Oakland's taking a big step towards a deal to sell the Coliseum. This is like the first good news that like Oaklanders and fans of, of, of sports and just something good can be can be happy about you know what i mean this is like the first good news we've had in like a few years mayor shang tao's office confirmed monday the city has signed a term sheet to sell the oakland coliseum to the african-american sports and entertainment group sending out this brief video statement it's so exciting what this means is this is a huge change not only for the city but for generations of oaklanders and for an area that has been underinvested in for so many decades the new owners, AASEG, are expected to pay the city over $100 million for the Coliseum. Brian says he can't wait to see what they do with the place. AASEG is, is making a huge investment into the area. Um, you know, they have a plan for $5 billion worth of uh, like redevelopment, revitalization. And so um, I, I think it's the, the Coliseum is, is going to live on you know, past, uh, the, you know, the next few years to come. What those years will look like, though, still remains a bit of a mystery. The A's have already made plans to play in Sacramento while they wait out a deal to head to Las Vegas. Brian is holding on to hope that new investors for the Coliseum could eventually lead to a new team in Oakland. AASEG is is, is a, a strong group and a group that if MLB so ever decides to put an expansion team in Oakland, you know, they're the, they're the right people to to be there to have that uh, actually happen. And so, like, this is the only shot that we would get um, to ensure that we would even be considered for an expansion team. While baseball fans watch that play out, they still have a sport to see at the Coliseum. The Oakland Soul and Roots, two professional soccer teams, are expected to kick off their seasons next year. But the Oakland Police Officers Association doesn't seem so optimistic. The agency gave us a statement tonight saying that it's doubtful that the Coliseum sale will, quote, solve the major and city council's epic mismanagement and that it's deeply concerned about the safety of residents, businesses and officers.